Hello everyone, I am Nick Harrison with Rocky River Woodworks and today I'm going to be adding dust collection or at least my version of it on my CNC machine. So the first thing I do is bring my CNC all the way forward and get some measurements around the uh, oscillating tool, the cutter. I need to get pretty much every measurement that you can think of, noting the pre-existing drilled out holes, the width, the depth, uh, how far the arch is from the cutter itself, all that good stuff. Um, and then I basically made a little drawing on a piece of paper, just a rough drawing until I was able to get back to my computer and I took that with me and I got on SketchUp. And then once I got on SketchUp, I just began making a model of a plate that would screw into the pre-existing holes, but then also stick out to allow an accepting port for my dust collection tube or dust collection pipe. After I had everything finalized in SketchUp, I exported that as an SVG file, and then I went into Easel, which is what I use for all of my CNC projects, and I imported that SVG file. If you don't know how to, imp uh, if you don't know how to export an SVG file from SketchUp, it's a plugin called Flight of Ideas, is what I used. So once I have the SVG file imported into Easel, I noticed that I need to set my cut to be on the outside of the path and by doing that the circle will no longer be two and a half inches which is what I need for my dust collection so I decided just to cut that by hand um, so to fix it in easel I just brought in a circle and set the depth of cut to zero inches over top of the existing circle and then that totally eliminated it. I got my artboard set up to five inches by eight inches. I then head over to the table saw and begin ripping down uh, a sheet of quarter inch MDF, which I think will be strong enough for this project. At least I'm gonna give it a shot for the time being. I rip it down to five inches on the table saw and then head over to the miter saw to cut it to 10 inches. I don't want to do eight inches exactly because once I screw it to the CNC machine, I don't want the screw heads to be in the way. Everything is now secured to the CNC table and I begin the cut. I'm using an eight inch upcut spiral bit for this. Not ideal, but that's what I had in the machine already and that's what I decided to use. This cut doesn't take long, it took about four minutes. I remove it, knock it out, and sand and clean up the edges on the sander, and then trace out my dust collection port um, onto the MDF and begin making that circle cut. I do this by starting out with a 5 16 inch bit on my drill press, and then moving over to my spindle sander and just increasing the size of the spindle gradually as my workpiece allows for it. As I get to the bigger drums and the bigger spindles, you have to be careful and just barely sneak up on the line and just barely kiss that line. You don't want to make it too big, otherwise your port will be loose and it defeats the purpose. I then head over to the CNC machine and mount this bracket in place. Again, there's pre-existing holes, so I just use some real small bolts and nuts go through my workpiece into those existing pieces and then put my dust collection port in place. I now have to create an additional drop, an additional blast gate for my CNC. So here I'm modifying my current system, just figuring out what elbows, what size pipes, that sort of stuff that I need um, to extend and add another drop. Put the drop in place, put the blast gate in place, connect the hose to both ends on the blast gate and the CNC, and then test out my CNC just to make sure that it will glide freely, no pulls or tugs or anything like that. I don't want my CNC to be straining because it has a five inch uh, dust collection hose on the top of it. After that is situated, I then got one of these four inch skirts, these dust collection skirts. I measure out how long I need it to be and cut it to length 
and then install it around my bracket. I do this with very small screws since I am using quarter inch MDF. Uh, and just be very careful. This does not look pretty at all, but I don't really care about appearance to be honest. I got the skirt on there and again, just kind of tested out the dust collection. I lowered the bit, lowered the machine and see if it would pick up any dust. I had some existing dust on the table and it seemed to pick it up pretty well. So I was kind of uh, happily impressed. All right, so I think I'm gonna stop here. Um, it's definitely not perfect, but it's gonna do what I think it should do for the time being. Um, I already have plans drawn up and in the very near future, I'm gonna be building a big cabinet for this to be enclosed inside of, um, and this will be changed uh, at that time to accommodate for that. But for now, this is gonna do what I think it should do. This um, brush seems to help a lot uh, especially as the drill goes, the bit goes down and this gets closer to the surface, the, the tips of the, the bristles of the brush, uh, it seems to collect most of the dust, if not all. Um, and as you saw, I, I've, I've tested this to make sure that there's no strain on the CNC. It's not like it's having to force this hose around. It seems to move freely um, without any strain. Um, obviously this is gonna be a variable, this brush here, because it's a four inch brush. Um, or skirt, if you will. And depending on um, how long the bit is out of the bottom of the, the router, the cutter, um, you know, this might compress. So if it has to get down to where it's like an inch off the surface for a small V-carve bit or something, these bristles are gonna be pushed up, um, you know, compressed like that. So this will be a variable, but also don't wanna go ahead and cut them to an inch because if I'm using a longer bit, you know, I'll just have to wait and see. But for now, I think it's gonna do what, it's, uh, what I would like for it to do. And at this point, honestly, anything's better than nothing. Um, I had a big problem before where dust was just going all over my shop. My shop is uh, 25 feet wide and 25 feet uh, long. And this is basically in the corner and on the other corner of the shop, it was just getting dust on top of everything. So this will fix the problem for now. Anyways, be sure to hit the thumbs up button to like the video on YouTube and don't forget to comment and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down below what your solution is for the dust collection on the CNC because honestly, I'm open to any suggestions. Um, but anyways, like, comment, and subscribe. You can find me online, uh, this project and more online on my website at www.rockyriverwoodworks.com. I will also leave, um, on the post on my website, I will put the template, the SVG file, all that good stuff for um, if you would like to cut out one of these dust boot uh, brackets on your CNC to use for your project. Uh, you can also find me on social media, Instagram at Rocky River WW. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.